If you're new to using gunpowder units in your army, don't worry. In this guide we will go through a basic gun formation and some tips on how to use your gunners effectively in battle. The first thing we want to do is set up a simple checkerboard pattern. This pattern consists of alternating melee infantry and gunners, with your most elite infantry in the center. The AI tends to send most of their forces to the center, including their lord, so it's important to have your strongest troops there. However, in multiplayer you will have to consider what your opponent will do, as they will not do the same as the AI. Now, let's see the formation in action. After your gunners fire their first volley on the approaching enemy army, you should retreat them behind your melee line. Doing this does not just protect your gunners though, as it will also limit their line of sight, since some of your own troops will now block their line of fire. If or when the enemy manages to push through your defenses, you should retreat back with the targeted gunner and turn the gunners at its side to finish off the enemy. It's crucial to keep running back so your other gunners can turn and hit the enemy in their sides and in the back. You also have to remember to counter the enemy flankers. You can use your own counter cavalry to engage them, or move in more melee units to engage with the enemy flankers. If the enemy however engages your melee units with their cavalry, you can then use your cavalry to harass their ranged units. And by following these tips, you can use your gunpowder units more effectively in Total War Warhammer. Remember to experiment with different formations and tactics to find out what works best for you. And if you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.